So in the data section, there's many places to get to, but you can always go to the top of the page and then click on the data overview. There are four levels of data access that we currently have. Um, in addition to those data levels on this page, there are more details about understanding some of the data, but also down below, I wanna make sure that you look at that there are more further examples about um, case examples, in addition to more of the data to action, how the sites are using the data that they've acquired so far to prevent future deaths. But we'll start with this level one data. So the level one is more aggregate data on a summarized um, aspect, which is available um, in real time on this website. So if we click under the data summaries, the first page it takes up to is, is pretty much a snapshot of the data that's available. So it has across the network, all of the deaths that were CHAMPS eligible, all of the deaths that were CHAMPS enrolled, and then those that were MITS eligible. Again, the MITS eligibility is that death that occurs within 24 hours and the body is still available. And then the number of MITS that have been complete to date as well as those MITs that then had a cause of death assigned to it. So one way to, to use this website, if you're interested in seeing, just looking at those cases where a MITs procedure was completed and just wanting to look at how many were from Kenya. If you noticed, I clicked on each of those boxes and then what it did was filter for those. You can also filter using the filters on the left for the sites, for the sex of the, the child, the age, age range, location of death. And that is either facility or community. I, I forgot to mention in the overview that the goal is to capture all deaths within that catchment area, both those that are occurring at the facility, but also probably more important for some circumstances, those deaths that are occurring outside of a health facility or community. Um, you can filter for that and also for the time period. Just want to point out another aspect of this website. So we're filtering at all the MITs completed at the Kenya site. And down here, you can look for by the date of death, if there's any seasonality or just the numbers that were enrolled with deaths occurring in that time frame. Um, if to unfilter, you can either e click on all of those boxes or just go back. Um, to the first part. So this is, again, real-time data, a snapshot of what is current as of today with the number of enrolled cases. 